Welcome to EVE Online, a major freak. So, this video will encompass as much as possible about industry in the shortest amount of time. Let's see if we can beat uh, CCP's uh, five minute mark and get a quicker than that. All right, so industry, it is uh, accessed via industry. Uh, if you do a lot of industry, just drag it into your Nikon like that. You can open it up this way. You can open it up through the uh, panel if there's a industry facility at the station you're at. Um, and you can right click um, a blueprint in the items hanger. You can right click it from your cargo hold if you're flying around experimenting. But let me tell you, if you want to experiment and find out a good facility for you, you can do it all from one spot. Um, you have the ability um, when you are by the way um, the earlier video I used uh, I went into uh, research um, and when you close it and open a new one it'll remember what buttons you would press like here and what say if any item container or jack hand like it's not a jack hand but whatever stuff you're using I I'd recommend you just stick to what an item hanger because you won't have enough uh, blueprints yet to worry about that. So just bypass all that thought. Keep it in your eye hangers. Keep it in your section. It's fine. If you're anywhere else and you open this up, go to blueprints. It'll let you... This should be the default. It will let you know which ones you have. And it will even recognize ones in your cargo hold. Although you cannot complete any build order when it's in your cargo hold. Right. So the this is very self-explanatory, probably things that I don't need to talk about anew to. It's just self-explanatory. You're missing the stuff. If you've got a partial amount, uh, let's say if you have that amount, it'll highlight that. Um, you've got some it, some missing uh, when you're doing this and you go, oh, how much is missing? It's easy. You can just go buy missing materials. It will just pop up and multi-buy anywhere you are in space. It doesn't matter. You can even do this in space. It'll tell you. It'll be blanked out because you're not at a station or you're probably not at MR. And it probably doesn't have all you need. But yeah, that's what you need. Um, and you can... The great thing about this when you have nothing there and everything missing you can go buy uh, missing materials and it will tell you the cost of the production of that now say if you had and this is a great thing check this out you can actually adjust like a simulator not only the me and, and the pe time and material but you can adjust what facility you want to test at say uh, it's got sorted by jumps sort um, public facilities material um, you're not going to be joining corp yet if you have there's probably somebody who's already helped you through this already so this is for the solo player or hasn't joined a corp yet um, a corp other than your um, NPC corp that you're with uh, a player corp so public facilities, material efficiency, uh, sorry, manufacturing, because we'll get to that later. Um, if I get to it at all, um, this is not a, um, a video about uh, research. So I'm just going to stick to manufacturing. And within 10 jumps, you can't do anything more. Um, by the way, if you use the structure browser, you won't be able to uh, constellation, uh, region. You won't be able to see anything other than your region. So you can't, that there, there, are, there are regions um, next to MR that are closer, they're one jump away. So this is completely useless for searching. Uh, you go for the facilities. It's uh, a great, great thing. Plus, and your most important thing, and I can't stress this enough, is your system index this will categorize your habit this way 
uh, arrow pointing up. Um, your system index, the lowest you can get, period, is uh, 0 0.08. Highest is 14. That's GETA for sure. All the time. Well, almost all the time. Um, it can get pretty high, and it's a major factor in your costs. Um, ME uh, is a major factor in the cost of your ingredients. The system index is a major cost in your total job cost. It'll calculate uh, a number. It's estimating your your um, your your item is going to cost. It is. Don't be confused when you go. Why is it different than my total estimated price? It's just CCP. They they haven't gotten around to it. And we'll just ignore it. I've dealt with that in uh, the video I bashed them about. Uh, immediately prior to this um, so it's in the uh, noob life uh, playlist it'll be right under this one um, so the system cost index is the highest tier modifier that affects the cost it's the highest tier everything else is a lesser tier it's like a percentage of a percentage so facility tax is the last thing you need to worry about. By the way, the slash is subcapital and capital. So you definitely no, don't need to worry about that second slash number, okay? Uh, the plus is anything with a roll bonus or a rig bonus. Uh, these are the roll bonuses right here. The rig bonuses, if any, would be listed here. And it looks like this is a low sec system, uh, so it gets a kind of a double uh, the bonus if for low sec. The problem is that most low sec stuff have uh, well, it's a it's um, no guarantee that you can dock there. Um, it's weird. Like it'll list some things, and you'll go there, and you can't see the station on your overview. It's because you might be able to see it here, um, but sometimes you just can't dock there. It could be that my corporation has been blacklisted by the people who own that. I not. I'm not sure. I could just make a new character and, and test it. But yeah, um, do be aware that sometimes you won't be able to dock. But that's just normal for low sec right um, most things you don't get a free port um but yeah i mean you're looking for uh a rig that'll match uh your blueprint and very few people uh have drone fighter uh, rigs it's just not a thing uh, i went through and found, I think it's Foley. Anyways, I, I went through all of them. Uh, these are all the ones with rigs. And the rest of them don't have any rigs. Um, you'll just get the roll structure. And the roll structure is the same for every single one. You won't get any, a single different uh, roll bonus to ME, your ingredients, from an engineering structure other than 1%, unless it's got a rig for your specific uh, blueprint that you're using um, and the structure ME is for like fuel blocks and stuff like that um, that's if you want to make fuel blocks the structure ME is what you're looking for uh, ammo it's called um, when you do that it's a uh, matches let's go look at matches uh, yes. uh, and that's the stank and it's got you'll It'll go, it's charged, so charge means ammo. Um, I haven't figured out what material means at all. I, I, there's, I've looked at all the rigs. I think this is just a, a bug. That I, I don't think they meant to have material in there. <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> all of the water the wrong way great okay um and we've got pulfe and it's the only one in range of amara 
that has the rig and you can click it make sure you click it because sometimes uh, it'll uh, revert to the station you're at so you just gotta remember to make sure it's it's listed there um, and you can hover over it but uh, hover, hover over it. Um, and you can scroll down and it will go drone and fighter drone and fighter uh, that's the uh, that's the rig it's I think it's got research rigs on it other rigs but this is the only one for actual manufacturing industry so yeah um, and that's that's the reduce um, as you can see only the the titanium was reduced which is interesting well, I'm sure if we increase that by a large amount this would decrease um, let's say let's get rid of this see it'll 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 affect it but when you're at such a low um, job run that that it's not really gonna recognize it until it gets higher up okay so that's something to note right um, so let's get rid of this go back to there so that's the good savings and um, the job cost if you build it at MR with this BPO would be um, almost 1300 disk and you're yeah, it's it's gonna. I'll show you. Uh, let's do it right now. It's gonna cost you. To oh, ugh, give me a sec. That seemed a bit off. Okay, so there we go. So, uh, too bad there's no reset button for this. You've got to like, um, yeah, close it out. Just start all over again. Okay. Um, so it's gonna cost you uh, twenty-two thousand. Uh, Twenty-two thousand to buy it. It the estimated price is a bit off. So if if the best way to do this kind of thing is sit at the market hub like Mar or Renz or Dodixi or Jita, and do the simulator of within ten jumps of anything you can your heart's desire. Um, check it out. Um, you don't need to buy a research blueprint because you can just simulate a research blueprint this way. Um, Note that it only works for manufacturing. Um, you can't do the same for um, for when you're researching. It, yeah, I'm 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 thrilled. Please don't get rid of it just because I, you can't do research. Just thank you so much for the ability to simulate manufacturing. Okay, let's move along. Hopefully, CCB doesn't rip out code just because of the. Ooh. All right, so. 22,000 plus 1,300. Okay, so that's, um, uh, they actually have an interesting new um, calculator. Uh, I, I don't know why they cluttered this area up, but it's nice that it's bigger than a, a small midget. It's too bad we can't resize it, but you know CCP, they like to be, ugh, I don't know. Four, no, two, 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 four, six. 0.62 plus 12.65. Okay, so that's how much it's going to cost you to build it, and if you want to sell it, put up a sell market. By all means, it's you're an industry person who likes adjusting prices um, slowly um, to compete with other people trying to sell the same thing by all means have at it I hate that uh, I would I will never do that and I it's been almost two decades I have not once succumbed to uh, less than a handful of times I've attempted to sell stuff um, not on an industrial level uh, I've never tried to sell something on an industrial level but yeah I mean if you can get into it go for it um, put up sell orders uh, you can tell your uh, tax rate and this is the second most important thing to know is your tax rate is going to be in my orders it'll list your tax rate um, a base broker add the base broker and the transaction tax um, because you're gonna when you set up a buy order you're gonna hit with both of those um, so yeah, uh, eventually. So you've got to take that into account. That's 8.36. Um, yeah, it's crazy. Uh, do I have broker relations? These are the two skills.
Oh, I haven't got my accounting right because this is not my trading account. So yeah, that's why I'm getting slaughtered by the uh, the tax. You can get it down for around 5%-ish, I think, I believe, currently, ish. Um, if you... Yeah. Accounting and broker relations, that's what you need. Okay, so... Um, and if you sold, uh, I'm gonna add, can I clear? Add. I'm sure it doesn't remember once I close it. So set, okay, set. Okay, so if I end uh, a little while ago, it was um, almost 5,000. So three, four, three, nine, nine times five. So that's what you would sell at. Of course, you've got to remember that you're going to be incurring about, well, if you do it right, you're about 5%. So what, nine, nine, five. So you'll make that much set. And it'll cost you this much if you do it at, say, MR or close to like Jita, you know? So it's it's literally not gonna be worth it. Now, admittedly, this is on the low end, but Acloids do vary in prices by a, from 3,000 to 5,000. So your ability to buy this stuff, it, it varies wildly, like crazily. Um, sec here I don't think I have volume show volume so the volume is going to be approximate give me a sec here okay in a typical situation you're going to be looking at about a thousand um, being bought and sold every day um so that's the tippy top so if you've got five yeah i mean it's just it's just this this is what you want the most volume possible because then the price will stabilize um the less volume the more it's gonna wildly vary um, and be manipulated by people um as you can see Anyways, yeah, I mean, look at that. That two big purchases probably drove the price right up, you know, and that's, and it just takes off. It just keeps going. And people think, oh, it's, price is rising, and it just keeps going that way. It's got a life of its own. Um, so just a little, a little, uh, just a, if you wildly do it, like 187 or quantity, 20K, you know, that's outsized and you'll manipulate the market. Um, what you want to do is find something that you can sell that's not at a hub. Go find your own market for this kind of thing at a mission uh, site. And uh, they are, I'll write it in the description. I haven't quite tested it yet because I want to go there and look at the ships that undock and go, how would I fit that ship? How could I influence noobs into fitting properly by building the stuff that I think they should fit those ships I'm seeing undocking, selling that at that station, and I want to find mission hubs with like more than one, or preferably more than two uh, combat um, security uh, agent um, per station, right? So if I found a station with two level one and two level two and one level three that would be perfect i'd want to find one outside of the normal regions of major hubs like domain and forge and sick liaison and i forget the wren's one um emitter anyways um whatever uh, outside of those four main regions you can get a more easily accessibly more easily understood local market for mission hubbers 
that's what I'm assuming. And I've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven systems I want to check. Um, and they were they were found by checking out uh, Eve University's uh, mission hubs. They've got a list of mission hubs, and it it's a frustrating list. Hopefully, I deciphered it deciphered it properly. And I'll make a video about it later, um, but not at this moment. That's for another day. Um, let's see. I'll go through my checklist. Um, I talked about the system index, uh, 0 0.08214. Talk about the map settings. Whoops. Map settings. So the map settings for system index are found um, in industry. You've got corporation, and build up graphic industry, and you scroll in here, go manufacturing system cost index, and you can hover over things, and it'll tell you the system cost. So it's cost. Um, and where was ah no pet? I had a system index for the best ones, so. These were the lowest, and going up from there. And we'll just take a take a gander of all the locations within ten jumps that are very good and with rigs, like really good rigs, right? So go. Uh, I think that's more than 12. <laughs> no, that'll just hang my computer. Um, so yeah, um, this is the, the picture of Eve Space that I've got set up within 10 jumps that I've been able to find rigs. Um, I actually went physically to each one and ship scanned them just to, just to check out what the rigs look like. Um, let's see, uh, I'll open up, uh, manage route, and let's see if I've got, I can show you what the ship scans look like. Now, when you're ship scanning structures, their signature radius is so big that you get an automatic perfect ship scan. Like, normally, you won't get a full picture, it's because of the signature radius. So... Pretty sure I got to Armok. Yeah, that's the uh, that's the fittings right there. Um, capital Tech One, flagship Tech One equipment manufacturing. That's like um, implants, I think, and and uh, and and modules and uh, deployables, I think. And uh, I hover my mouse over the. The, the structure there and it showed you the rig and um, all that stuff, all that fun stuff. And I had a list of uh, all the... Yeah, it's it was fun. Um, and then I realized that I could do all this from MR once I've I'd got the ship scanned and understood what all the rigs meant. Um, because it's, it's, it's not that self-explanatory. There is a website for that. Um, Oh, Jesus. Um, anyways, uh, I'll link it in the description. Uh, it, it shows you all the uh, the rig um, the rig bonus for structures um, for manufacturing, and it's great. It, it, it shows it all. Uh, speaking of, um, but of course, when you're... Like this is an Asbel. Um, Asbels, it's weird because Asbels um, have have less rigs than Retarus, which are the smallest ones, and Satius have even less rigs than the than the Asbels. It's because the I'll show you. I explained it to you really quickly. Um, for small ones like Retarus, it's split up into ME and and. Um, material efficiency and time efficiency 
right? It's right here. Look at all this. Blah. This is Tech 2. Um, once it gets thucker, it changes to Tech 2. So all this stuff right here, that is um, all the all the Tech 1 rigs you can place on your ship, on your Rotaru. Once you get to um, the, the, the Asbel, you can only put this kind of rig in, and it combines the TE and ME together. So it just says efficiency. So you, yeah. So it lowers, like it halves the uh, the rigs required, and then the extra large uh, has the large, medium, and small combined. So it, it you even have less. Um, so it, it's it's pretty cool. Um, I like the way they had it set up. I just I wish I knew before that all of them had the same ME bonus, and all of them had. If they had the rig for that particular blueprint, it would all be the same plus two. And of course, if you're in low sec, it's different, and it'll it'll show you in here. It's the attributes; they're all the same at point nine. You know. All right. That's that. Um, let's see. Um, now I wanted to make a video. Uh, talking about um, the cost of these, right? Um, because in um, in Cheetah, it's always more expensive for the low end. Uh, this is the break-even bit. Uh, Noxium's kind of like they're not. It's not going to vary much. But the anything below the Noxium is going to be um, less expensive um, at uh, Amar, De Dixie, and Rens. Cheetah is a horrible place to get your low-end materials, bar none. It's always been that way. Well, except for a bit when they were dicking around with the quadrants, but that two-year plan to, you know, um, make uh, <laughs> to, to to make uh, mining better, yeah. Bring back better, yeah. Make mining great again, yeah. Okay, guys. Anyway, so, sorry, digress there. <laughs> um, so, yeah, uh, got some great stuff uh, it it was fun to go around um, and check out the different uh, the different rigs and just to get a feel physically of everything it was it was it was a lot of fun it took me a hell of a lot a lot of time I haven't done it I have done it for Jita I made a video uh, sped it up by 10 times actually but never really uploaded or published it um, but what I wanted to do is show you physically the the difference between uh, Jita costs. Like if you're sitting at Jita and trying to simulate, you know, uh, the cost of this stuff um, at Jita, it would be more expensive for you to buy because the high end stuff doesn't change much. The low end does. It'll vary a lot. Um, they'd cost more. Um, you'd see a better savings in MR because it costs less for the low end and that's where all your savings is now the difference between well the high end stuff is cheaper in Gita as you would think um, but as you, you get more volume of the lower end stuff which hits you more and more in the pocket you'd be surprised um, especially when they were they had that Tempest example it, it really hits you in the jubblies when you're dicking around with that um, yeah, I mean, yeah, this is all the low end stuff. This is the break even, and everything above here is cheaper in Gita. Uh, yeah, uh, probably about 13 million or something. Anyways, um, neither here nor there. But yeah, the amount of stuff, the amount of is you save here by going to Jita is lost by the cost of the low end stuff, which is way more volume of stuff you need. So it impacts you more, build elsewhere than Jita. Now then, um, let's look up, because I'd really be interested, like showing you really how the varied cost is. Um, the market details for this is varied over the year as you can see um, 
but right now it's going for 317 and it was that a day ago and it was the, the day before so 317 is your break even point right it's going to cost you why would you want to do it anymore it's crazy expensive uh, the drop cost is just insane um you've got uh your price to build it in material is 1311 add on 11 million and you're losing money but of course you wouldn't want to do it here you'd want to do it let's let's just go to an npc let's go uh let's build here um so now it'll be the same cost because you're at an npc station but your job cost is now drastically less like incredibly less so now you're making a profit well you're not because you've got to pay the sales tax and the sales tax would mean you know unfortunately um you'd be making less money i'm probably horribly screwing this up because of the the math here but this is how i would do it um 17 times 0.9 oh sorry um, 17 ah what the hell what did i do <laughs> press the wrong button Yeah, I really like it because um, you, the, the black screen um, when you first log on to the game is much less now nowadays. It's really cool. Thank God, CCP. Yeah, I know. After how many, almost two decades, and they finally figure out that, oh, maybe we have a little bit of code that we need to prepare. Doink. Because, you know, their, their lag time is zero at, in Iceland. Okay, so... Um, so 317 point oh that's hilarious because I <laughs> press the, the my undock is uh, the numpad dot alright uh, times oops. Crap. 17 6 oh god no did I just undock again no 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 <laughs> Okay, maybe maybe that was a bad idea. Give me a second. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay then. Just be careful of playing, pressing that that particular button. <laughs> That's hilarious. All right, let's try let's try this again. <laughs> Seventeen. Six. All right, times. No. Equals. Okay, so I'm making that profit. It's costing me really. Is five percent really that much? No. Gotta be off. Yeah, I'm screwing up my math. Give me a sec. Um, what the hell? I, I swear I was doing that. What? Maybe I haven't got the hang of the in game calculator yet. It's called. Okay, so. Divided by 125. Maybe that's the correct way to do it. Alright. So. That's my profit. Wow, are you kidding me? Really? Okay, so that's my broker and sales tax added together if I was high level, a trader. Huh. Wow. Okay, so 
let's go to... Damn, really? It's amazing how much 5% is, huh? Okay, um, got a large ship, and that's like... This is crazy, because Germa, Dock 5, it's like... Yeah. Cray cray. So, we'll go Germa. And it's, it's, it's just blowing me a new way because it's like, you know, it's it's got a large ship rig. Maybe it just put it in there. And I just found it right then and lucked out. Um, so, that'll lower the cost by hopefully a substantial amount. Now, when I was doing this before, I do remember getting this cost below 300 million, and I think it's because the core temperature regulator that, by the way, uh, was introduced uh, last April. Um, it's the reason the, the difference between this estimated total cost, 273, way different than that. And that is the number you can find by going on to one of the old blueprint sites and it'll it's still got the old listed ingredients without all this fancy stuff, you know? And it shows you 133, 8, something something thousand isk. That's the number it'll show you. So it's an old value. Anyways, sorry. Um, but yeah, uh, core temperature regulated. It, it, I think it must have jumped in the last couple of days because it was. It wasn't. Yes, it must have just jumped just very recently because it was below 300 million yesterday when I was making uh, trying to make this video. Yeah. So yeah, um, you've got 308, so you're barely breaking even. Jeez, you're taking a little bit of a loss, actually. So you can go to the um, high sec uh, with a rig. It's got the structure structure bonus. It's got everything you need, but you're still taking a loss. Even though you've done the best you can possibly do to lower your costs, you're still taking a hit. And this is why low sec and null sec are the best places to build this for a profit and this is why people are under undercutting other people is because they do build it in those areas and they ship it to high sec they sell it to markets and they're able to go uh, just punish the market um, they can go to cost and yeah it's just it's just amazing um, the market manipulation you can do when you know and it's actually yeah this is this is this way because of the skyrocketing core and it spiraled out of control um and then stabilized and trying to find a happy spot right here um yeah so yeah i know right it's just it's difficult to make a profit, especially when you realize that you're paying sales tax. Okay. I hope that was informative. Um, um, yeah, and you can see as we, let's alternate this, uh, so this is, I don't need to pay attention to that. Um, the, if I can alternate the any cost, you'll watch and look at, like you didn't. It, it very slow amount, a very low amount of change in the high end stuff and some next uh, mega site and stuff like that. You know, it, it, you don't, you don't get a lot of savings at that. Most of your savings is in this area. Um, and I'll actually show you. Um, so we've got that, right? So 
Uh, how am I going to do this? I'll take a screenshot. Paste. Scroll in. Ooh. Okay. Did I just do that? That was hilarious. Um. Close enough as I can get it. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So. That, I believe, was for. God. Now I go missing material, and you, you'll see the difference. So we're talking here. So we're talking about okay, so am I making sense? Let me just fact check myself, right? Because I get things wrong all the time. So that's six million. That's three million. That's hardly a million. That's one million. That's two million. That's brains. Seven, nine million. I think nine million. Um, that's four million. And that's uh, another. That's five million, I think. And that's three million. So, it might have been six million up here, and yeah, that's nine million right there. But as you go, it it just starts to balloon as the cost. So this this is a right here, right here, your low end. Um, this would be more at Cheetah. Um, so it's it helps you save money in the long run by not buying your low end at Cheetah. Uh, but of course, the, the high-end stuff is less expensive, but it's m less of an impact, um, as these are more of an impact. Eh, I don't know the math words for that, but I think you understand what I'm trying to get at. They're all rational, intelligent adults here. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, so I've talked about, I'm just going through my checklist here. Um, talk about the tax, talked about it. Did I tell you, did I mention? It's the market orders and my orders. You can get your tax. I think I already talked about it, this in this video. Just wanted to touch on that. Um, oh, right, God. Uh, the, I think they might have either this no I think it was um, uh, they didn't show the market um, but um, you're the, the most important thing to do when you open the market is to make sure you have this set um, this arrow is only on this one because Sometimes you're running between clients and you're not paying attention and one of your characters have defaulted to the default uh, ordering, which is totally screwed up. And you could be spending way more than usual. So just, I know everybody knows about this, but it, it's something we need to point out, especially with the news. All right, um, Talk about the structured browser isn't the best for looking up. Yeah, I already did. Uh, talk about the simulator being able to spot rigs when checking facilities. Yep, I did. Um, it, it's kind of painstaking, uh, and it's hard to figure out what to look for, but I think it covered the basics of what you need to look for in the manufacturing area for the for the rig types. Everything else is pretty self-explanatory other than, say, fuel blocks, which are structure, and uh, ammo, which is charge, 
and and yeah. Um, yeah, and and talk about the ability to adjust the ME and PE like you're in a simulator, which is freaking awesome. Um, talk about the slash tax, yeah. Um, explain the different categories for rigs. I think I did mostly. Um, I don't have the website up to talk about it, unfortunately. Um, let's see if I can bring it up on my secondary computer. Do I have the history there? Give me a sec. Ooh. Engineering Rigs version 2. Here we go. Uh, that is um, Content Eve Online. Content Eve Online. Com. www. Uh, there. Alright. Uh, these are the this is the medium, uh, these are the large, and that's the x-large. I'll put it in the description for sure. It'll be really helpful for you guys. All right, um, and gals. All right, so gal probably. 95% um, yeah. male, 95% white, 90%, 95% North America. Actually, it's, it's not that bad. <laughs> it's not that bad at all. All right. Oh, right. Um, no skill nor implant will improve your Emmy. So all you've got is the rig, the roll, and the actual blueprint Emmy. Um, I talked about the old version of the, the EIV already and the difference between the estimated cost, uh, disparity. I should. I don't really need to show. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll link it in the description just in case you're, you guys are curious. Um, it's the a significant. Blog, which was the introduction of the that battleship core thing. Had them go lose their minds. Quite crazy, so. Yeah, it's it's too bad I can't go to a mission hub and look at their station's history of volume and types. That would be great. That'd be funny if it, they did, and I just didn't realize that, but I'm pretty sure you can't. Um, I'll just have to eyeball who's undocking and then just theory craft their ships and what's the best way to fit it and then sell that. Those blueprints, which have, like, I, I don't think anybody has a list. Um, and this is for a different, another video. I don't want to get too much into it. But the uh, blueprints... It's too bad I can't filter the blueprints for ingredients. That would be great, right? Um, uh, so you'd want, since it's a MAR, they'll probably do a laser. But missiles are great too. You can, you know, 
tailor the, you know, I'm, I'm sure I'll just look at who's unboxing what, you know, and guess from there, right? Um, like small uh, and multi-frequency is, you know, I mean, just let's look at the, the volume. Um, typically, that's quite a lot, actually. Uh, reduce this and we'll get a better picture of it. This is why I want to go to uh, different regions um, and get a view of the volume of this stuff to know what's in demand. Mostly people just go to market hubs, but hopefully you can get a, some kind of feel from just looking at the market volume in those regions which have market hubs. I mean, which don't have market hubs, but which have mission hubs. That's what I'm getting at. Um, Pirate Nox, okay, Noxium and Zydrian it don't have. Is there, is there a crystal bat? Uh, close. Isogen, where do you get Isogen these days? Um, Crenite. Oh, I could go try to find some Crenite in low sec and that would do it. How much would I need? I could probably push it, then sneak in low set and get a little bit of nice edgigen from Kernite. We could probably do that, have fun. It'd be fun. I I'd rather find stuff that just simply had, you know, the, the high end stuff. I mean, the, the low end stuff, period, without isogen. Unfortunately. Oh! Damn, isogen. Antimatter? Ooh, a damn Noxium. Bugger. That is Jaspit, which is located in low second anomalies. You probably totally get that. I prefer to find something that doesn't. Uh sorry. Uh brain dead. Oh, there we go. Iron charge. You could totally do iron charge. Uh, you could totally do thorium. Yeah, you could totally do tungsten. Nice. And you could totally freaking do uranium charging. So yeah, I mean, you could sell this kind of stuff, build it by... Um, if you got level... If you got level 5... Um, or level 4. Level 4 mass production. You could do five run, uh, five jobs at a time, and like it's, uh, you could do, you know, you could, you could do. Oh, I don't know. Um, probably you'd want to do a um, hundred job runs, and. To, I don't like it that they say job runs because you get confused between, between the nomenclature between jobs and runs, right? So um, you'd make ten thousand, and you could, and you can, you know, build the other stuff. And anyways, so, or you could just make. Yeah, I I like to have level four advanced mass production so I can make ten uh, jobs. About 10 runs each makes it half an hour boom done uh, I best if I selected it and I need ammo which would be charged Hosni it's like Hosni you know and I could just simulate that there you go um Urk. What else to talk about? Um, yeah, and I just go down the list, find the blueprints that are that are available for low end stuff, and research those to ME ten because why the frick not? Um, and then, yeah, just yeah, it's just that's that's my idea, and I'll, I'll get it to it in another video. Uh, oh, and BPOs typically cost typically in the past cost ten times the value of say. 
uh, FBPO will cost um, NPC station uh, expert dis distribution or Aliastra um, ammo and drones typically were are sold at Aliastra and expert distribution and uh, I think uh, min matter station two it could be different one sec. Uh-oh, I need to shut up now. Okay, so, um, oh, right, when you're when you're looking for BBC, BPCs of, say, you know, Tempus, which, you know, you'll take a loss on, um, but uh, when you're doing this, uh, exclude multiple items. It'll make your life a lot easier so you don't get the annoying multiple copies thing that I've seen when people talk about contracts they have a lot of multiples so that's one way to get rid of it which is cleans it up I mean, so, um, I covered everything there you go um, done wow covered all that and uh, hopefully it, I packed in enough information and didn't melt your guys brains too much but hopefully uh, the smart ones of you have written this down a good one enjoy your day and finally got that off my chest i i don't do industry i just i just didn't didn't like the fact that they put something out and i knew it was going to be horrible so i checked it out and sure enough it was and i watched it five times over and each time i watched it i saw something even more horrible so i thought i'd let you guys know about that and figured you know take the time to look at it dissect it and make a decent video after watching other people's videos to make sure I wasn't missing anything condense it all and then put it out there and, and hopefully uh, that is the most definitive yeah uh, the most definitive video I can make uh, about the subject two noobs aim for noobs um, and yeah Okay, I'll shut up. And you go. Bleh, bleh, bleh.